Hey, hey, family, welcome to the 23 of our love revolution, the fearless edition. We thank the Lord for his goodness and his mercy sustaining us. We are alive because the Lord has kept us. Father, we want to thank you this moment for who you are and what you do in our lives. You have sustained us and you continue to sustain us. Father, we stand on your word and we curse the source of this virus, somebody God, and we declare your healing upon the nations in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. So uh, um, today I want to share something on this journey about fearless love gives us decisive victory. Fearless love gives us decisive victory. In John chapter 16 verse 33, Jesus said that in this world you have trouble, but don't be afraid for I have overcome the world. So trouble is nothing new. Jesus prophesied it and so we have to expect it. But remember this, in the midst of the trouble, because Jesus overcome, you will also overcome. So that's our assurance and our confidence. In Romans chapter 8 verse 35, right down to the end of that of that passage, Paul was talking about the love of God. He asked this rhetorical question, see that what can separate us from the love of God? And the obvious answer is nothing can separate us from the love of God. Then he goes and says that shall famine, shall drought, shall the threat of death. And I want to throw in, shall even the threat of this virus separate us? He says that every day we are led as sheep to the slaughter. But he says, yet in all these trials and afflictions, we have been made more than a conqueror. So I want somebody to understand that God has made you more than a conqueror that whatever you're experiencing will never kill you God will give you a victory over it now the word word and a conqueror when you open it up it simply means that God will give you a decisive victory right it's not a victory that you're just going to come out barely making noise you're going to come out bigger than you went in so i want to prophesy to somebody who is battling some things uh, you are confused and then you don't even know what's going to happen you are going through something i mean this virus is just something else i mean you had a challenge before the virus but i want to prophesy to you that no matter how long you've dealt with it if you can hold on to the love that god has for you and have the confidence that because you overcome you overcome god says he's going to give you a decisive victory i want to challenge the church in these times that no matter what we're experiencing god is going to give us decisive victory the the church will become stronger and better after all this is done why because greater is he who is inside of you than anything that is against you paul said that shall death death not even death can take us from the love of god so be encouraged child of god whatever you're experiencing god has his hand on you and you will pull through you're gonna, it's not going to swallow you. You're going to come out strong. What's your action plan? Now, no matter what you're experiencing, you can be in the eye of the storm. But remember this. If you can focus on this fearless love that he has for you, that he's promised that he's not going to leave you, then remember this. You're going to come out and you're going to come out with a story. You're going to come out with money to your test. That's called a testimony. Something to show up for what God put you through what you went through god will give you something substantial to look at it may the lord bless you and as you just share this video somebody is going to come your way these are times i want to encourage people that let the love of god inside of you come out i mean you might be going through stuff but if you can stop a minute god is going to use you as an instrument to reach out to somebody else god bless you i'll come your way same time tomorrow bye bye